In this particular election, South Africans were not just voting. They were airing out their anger, their frustration, and their dissatisfaction with everything that is happening in South Africa. This is not just something that has been happening over a year or two. It's been a buildup of frustration that has been happening in this country. And through this election, it gave its citizens a chance and an opportunity to express exactly how they feel about the way things are being governed in South Africa. Fellow South Africans, ladies and gentlemen, after carefully considering the extensive measures put in place and acknowledging the provisions of Section 57.3 uh, of the Electoral Act 1998, the Electoral Commission of South Africa declares the results of the, of the 2024 national and provincial elections as free and fair. So the IEC has declared that these national elections were free and fair. Eventually came a time to count all these votes. And then the end result was issued out on Sunday. So on Sunday, everybody knew. Each political party knew where it stood. But what did these results mean exactly for South African political parties? Let's start with the African National Congress. That's the ANC, a political party that's currently led by Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. Now, for the past term, the ANC has been the governing political party in South Africa. It's actually been the governing political party for the past 30 years, since 1994. Now, for that political party to lose its majority within South Africa, that's a dampener. That's a huge wake-up call for the political party. In all honesty, South Africans did give the African National Congress a chance. They gave them a chance over and over and over again. But you know, with the chances that a person gets, they need to prove themselves. You have to stay on the level, always proving yourself and giving the best of yourself. Especially since political parties are not really meant to be working for themselves, but rather for the people that they are serving. Now that is an element that I feel politics has totally, totally disregarded. Politicians and political parties, especially those in leadership, need to go back to the principle of putting its people first, putting its people's needs first, putting what benefits its people and its people's economy first. In all honesty, all this can't be easy for the African National Congress. From going from a political party that has a high majority within a country to now having to go into a coalition with other political parties, that can't be easy because it definitely shows that you are losing power or that you have lost power rather. And losing power has a knock on people's confidence. We know that the African National Congress has a lot of ministers. It has a lot of people that are in prominent places within the ANC. And this knock should speak to each and every one of those prominent members, each and every one of those ministers. The ANC needs to sit down, needs to regroup, needs to replan, and needs to get the people's confidence back. When it comes to the ANC, a lot has been said, a lot has been done. Everything else needs to be moved to the side. And now that particular political party just needs to plan a way forward. And that plan forward needs to include the people. With that being said and done, yes, I personally think this definitely was the worst election ever for the African National Congress. It was the worst election because, yes, maybe they expected a 5% drop or a 7% drop, but they definitely did not expect the type of drop that they got. They definitely did not expect to go into a coalition. What happened with this particular election, I doubt was what the ANC expected. But all is said and done, and I still say this was the worst election ever for the African National Congress. 
Now, moving along to the Patriotic Alliance, to Mr. Gaten McKenzie. Now, in all honesty, this is another political party that did put in the work. We saw with the campaigns, we saw at Athlone Stadium, like we saw Gaten was up and about. He did really put in the work for his political party. The Patriotic Alliance was represented quite well when it came to uh, spreading the word, spreading what they stand for, spreading who they are. They were represented very, very well. Now, Gaten, just like any other political party, you had those that liked him, those who didn't like him, those who agreed with what he was saying, those who didn't agree with what he was saying. And there is absolutely nothing new with that because with all political parties, it's always the same. Now, his Mabaha Ambe catchphrase definitely got the attention of a lot of people. A lot were in support of it and a lot were not in support of it. But... I will still say this was Gaten McKenzie's worst, worst, worst election. Now, the reason that I say this was Gaten's worst, worst, worst election is because if you remember last year, Gaten McKenzie had made a statement that as soon as he was inaugurated and after the May elections 2024, he would go straight to Rahima Musa Hospital to go and disconnect the life support for all the illegal foreigners there. So it seems that is not going to be happening. It seems what he had predicted is not going to be actual reality. So that definitely is going to leave a little bit of a dampener. Abahambe! Abahambe! We, we don't want the legal foreigners here. Where the PA, after we've been sworn in, I'm going straight to Rahima Musa Hospital where we're going to switch off the oxygen of illegal foreigners. Now, the next political party leader that I'm going to speak about is Mr. Julius Malema, of course, uh, Economic Freedom Fighters uh, President, Mr. Julius Malema. I feel like this definitely was not, was not, was not a good election for him. This could possibly be his worst election ever because, yes, he did put in the work. Yes, he does bring the crowds. Yes, he does have the numbers. But it was not enough. It was not enough to put the EFF where the EFF wanted to be. Now, I know that Mr. Julius Malema had said after his inauguration, the very first thing that he was going to do is he was going to go and work on those Sasa grants. Like everyone on those Sasa grants is going to get an increase on whatever amount. So he said after his inauguration, that was one of the first things that he was going to do. After my inauguration, I will immediately increase social grants for all grandparents to more than 4,000 per month. After my inauguration, I will increase the child support grant to 1,200 per month. After my inauguration, I will immediately send highly skilled teams of professionals to resolve the water crisis. So it's the worst election for him because there is not going to be an inauguration for Mr. Julius Malema, unfortunately. So all political parties, not only the three that I have mentioned, not only the ANC, EFF and Patriotic Alliance, other political parties need to go back to the drawing board and then come next national election. Give it a go again. This time, include the people so you can get the best result for your political party. That's all I have for now, and hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Take care.